Some people have called me a scientific artist. Others have called me an artistic scientist. And what comes out of that is purely luck. You've got no control over what it will be, but sometimes it's a very attractive piece of um, casting that could be used for jewellery. Sometimes it's just nothing at all. My name is David Smith. My age is 92 years, and my occupation was an instructor of ceramics in TAFE. I've been living here by myself since 1995. This one was made in a five-piece mould. It's got undercuts and you've got to split the mould into five different places. It's designed to go on a bathroom wall with the faucet coming out here so that the water comes out of the mouth. All these things around here have been Partly fired, some of them are very old, some of them are fairly new. One day I might get around to firing them. Well, a lot of people um, are held back by the fact they think they can't do something. If they really have a go, they find that they can. A lot of people wait until they retire to do something and then they take up a hobby. But if you wait that long, really, it's too late. This is my main collection. I started putting it together in the early 50s. I can't get... I was at a conference in Sydney where they gave me a calendar to make this competition that Nikon was running and I put in some pictures in the following year and I got a highly commended, I think. And the following year, I got the first prize and they flew me over to New York and dinner at the Rainbow Room, very, very nice. I've, how did I get interested in my microscopy? Oh, that's right, I did a course in gemology. We had two old microscopes. I didn't get much chance to use them, so I bought my own. I enjoy looking through them because you're looking through something and you're in a new world. Something that's quite different to what we see. You can see things that the naked eye can't see. You can photograph them, record them. And it's just, a, I find it quite an exciting um, hobby to be engaged in. And the fact that something's dying, it doesn't mean to say that it's not beautiful. An old ship that's been rusting on the seashore for 50 years is covered in rust. Doesn't mean to say that it's useful, but it's got a beauty perhaps that it didn't have when it was new and painted. And it can evoke memories as well. But I always wanted to be a sailor as early as I can remember. So my parents suggested the Merchant Navy, and I got into that when I was 16. When I was at sea, I used to do drawing and painting. And then later on, when I came to Australia, I was five years in the Australian Naval Reserve. So I got a little workshop and started a small business making model boats. And I bought a pottery kiln because I'd started making pottery by then. That started my career as a potter. And then, fortunately, I got a job in TAFE. My wife was one of my students at TAFE. Now, I don't know whether I'd be allowed these days, but <laughs> it certainly was then. And she was a nurse. My wife's name was Jay. She was a lovely lady. And then she retired and we both came down here. 1983, I think. She liked uh, embroidery, uh, quilt making, 
painting. Yeah, she was quite an artistic person. And she passed away, unfortunately, at 12 years later. Oh, that bonsai, that's a, probably over 30 years old now, because she was a member of the Bonsai Society. And uh, when she passed away, she left two of them. That's one. The other one needed repotting. So I read the books and very carefully repotted it, put it back, and it died. So that's the only one that's left. I just give it uh, some water every couple of days and it seemed fairly happy. And uh, I'd like it to last as long as I do. And then it can do what it wants. My life has been up and down a lot. So I've done quite a lot in life, various things. I've got so many things that I started and haven't finished yet. I've had a number of trips overseas to conferences, which have been lucky. I've met a lot of interesting people and done interesting things. Then I had a stroke and it all fell apart. That happened just before Christmas. It's one of those things you don't expect in life. You know, because I was pretty fit. Then all of a sudden I'm on the bathroom floor. I'm not as steady as I was. My voice isn't as good as it was. But uh, in general, um, things are going okay. Some people look upon life in a bright way, and I like that. People, I think, need to take more interest in the world itself, in the natural world of the growing things, and um, in what other people do. No, uh, the only thing I'd like to touch on is I'd like to see more people doing arts and crafts and creative things. Otherwise, there doesn't really seem much point in life. And with that, he said goodbye.